If you would like to get yourself some free cash, gift cards and prizes, head your way to Opinion Outpost where you'll be able to share your opinion on research companies through surveys and each survey you'll get, you'll get points in which you can redeem on prizes and even get yourself a chance to win $10,000 on a quarterly prize draw. Well what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below where you'll be able to take part and find out more. Hey, what is up guys? My name is Nord, and today I have a really cool video for you guys because I'm going to be showing you a collaboration of two different tricks you can do in this game and one of them is kind of a know-how and this is exactly what the know-how is. Now, in the newer versions of Grand Theft Auto 5, you may notice there are several more storage units around the map. For some reason, Rockstar decided to open up pretty much all of these self-storage units around the map and for some reason they decided to close about half of them in the older versions of Grand Theft Auto 5. But regardless, you can find a whole bunch more of these awesome self-storage units in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now these are particularly good for online if you do have your personal vehicle around instead of leaving it on the street or if you're just too far away from your garage go into one of these self storage units they're pretty much everywhere around the game now you can find them on pretty much every corner in newer versions of Grand Theft Auto 5 go and park your car into it and the garage door will just go back down and it's almost like a safe house to keep your car where it isn't fully locked away but it's kind of hidden away in the map and if someone's walking by they probably won't see this unless the garage door does end up flipping up now another cool thing about this is that you can actually store street vehicles in these self storage units around the game however these street vehicles will not stay in them forever but they will stay spawned in for longer than usual say for example I decided to leave my car in the self storage unit which I will show you in a minute uh, for a good minute or so and I decided to drive around the block or something usually it would despawn because I kind of took my eyes off the vehicle and I didn't really see it anymore so the vehicle would usually despawn but for some reason they will stay in a lot longer if you do leave them in these self storage units so it's just something really cool to take note I know a few of you guys do know about these self storage units from older versions the Grand Theft Auto 5. However, just something to do, take note of is that there's more of them in next gen. All of them have pretty much been opened up and you'll be able to store street vehicles in there for a longer amount of time without them despawning and you'll also be able to spawn your vehicles in there for some extra protection to stop it from being blown up. It's a really cool trick and I hope you guys do enjoy it and use it to your advantage. And now next up, I'm going to be showing you a classic trick. This one is really, really good in newer versions as well, because there's been a lot of speculation asking whether you can keep all of the lights on when you're outside of the vehicle and just leaving it running, including the neon lights. Well, yes, you can in fact do that by simply getting out of your car with the light switched on, pressing the B button or the circle button to punch, just like the original method, getting back into your car, and as soon as the lights automatically turn on, you're then going to want to get out of the vehicle, and if your vehicle does have neon lights installed it will in fact keep the neon lights on it's a really really cool trick and this is something which keeps kind of getting forgotten in the community everyone just kind of leaves this to one side when actually this is a really good way to get some amazing pictures as you can see there that's quite a dramatic picture I just got there on Snapmatic I really do enjoy these tricks like these because it's almost just like a convenience they've added into the game so like I said this is an original this isn't anything new but it's new in newer versions because you can in fact keep the neon lights on as well as the headlights which is something I really, really love Rockstar for. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. I would hate for you guys to miss out on some amazing GTA 5 content. But with that said, I hope you do enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And my name is Nort, and you guys rock.